Audi Viper Keeper here with a special uh, presentation tonight. Uh, a number of uh, uh, North American rattlesnakes have been uh, brought by for uh, some video work. Uh, uh, they're owned by my friend Bob in his collection. Uh, as you know, I don't normally keep rattlesnakes. Uh, but he brought uh, six or seven of uh, some of his uh, stunning specimens over and we'll say hello and uh, and have a look at uh, what he brought us tonight. So we'll uh, go ahead and take out the first uh, critter. This is an Arizona blacktail. Bob will be working the hooks and uh, uh, keeping track of the specimen tonight. Arizona blacktails, uh, well, Crotalus molossus molossus is found throughout the southwestern region of the United States. It's certainly found in Arizona where I lived for a number of years and was one of my favorite species to go track down. Uh, certainly it is one of the more beautiful uh, rattlesnakes that uh, the U.S. has to offer. This is in Arizona and in uh, a little while we'll have a te Texas Platinum uh, which is totally different coloration. And here, well, you're becoming a little interested. We're going to do Crotalus Molossus Cam. No? Can't make up his mind. Last time I saw this guy, he was just a little pup. Uh, now it's uh, it's a young adult, uh, beautiful rattlesnake. Very nice uh, specimen. Looks like he might be just mm, working on a shedder. Just did? No, it's just just uh, just flare. As you can see, he's not too uh, flustered and upset about uh, uh, what's going on here. Arizona blacktails are more of a high altitude sort of snake. Uh, they're found up in the lower foothills of the mountains in Tucson. Uh, some of the more famous locations are Sabino Canyon uh, and Madeira Canyon. Uh, also there's other uh, areas which I won't mention but those are the fairly common ones. Uh, these are also sort of known as uh, uh, dog face rattlers. Uh, there's uh, several stories out that these guys would uh, crawl out to the edge of uh, canyon roads and such uh, and sit on the blacktop and rattle and strike at cars going by uh, as they catch the last bit of heat of the day and get ready for uh, uh, their nighttime activity. One thing about uh, Crotalus molossus is it doesn't seem to uh, generate really, really good antibodies uh, with Crofab. So a, a bite by a molossus uh, will require quite a bit of Crofab uh, uh, to counteract the bite. And actually, uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, uh, bite statistics from... Uh, from blacktails and we'll try to keep it that way tonight. Um, they're just not terribly involved with uh, uh, with uh, biting uh, keepers or uh, people out in the wilderness. Uh, fairly secretive. Uh, they do have a rather lousy disposition most of the time but as you can see this, uh, this guy is uh, except for the extended tongue tongue twitches is uh, is pretty calm and sedate. So once again, this is a beautiful Arizona blacktail rattlesnake, Crotalus molossus molossus. Certainly one of the more beautiful of the southwestern rattlesnakes. Here we have a platinum blacktail from Texas. I don't know its exact uh, location. As Bob uh, just mentioned, uh, Cordelis molossus cam. Uh, this guy is not as friendly as the Arizona blacktail. 
uh, but he's uh, every bit uh, as beautiful in his own right. Here's a beautiful shot of the heat sensitive pit, the so called L'Oreal pit. I made a mistake the other night and, uh, and said on a bit of video that uh, uh, when I was discussing if their pits got filled with water, if it degraded uh, their ability to heat sense, and I said apical pit instead of L'Oreal. Um, and everybody knows the apical pits are the little spots on the scales and the copperheads, uh, uh, for instance. But here we have uh, another beautiful buzz tail from, uh, from Texas, and where those people uh, hunt rattlers for sport and, and kill tens of thousands of pounds of rattlesnakes annually. Um, talk about barbarians. Uh, uh, rattlesnakes are in the environment for a reason. If there's a lot of rattlesnakes, that just means that there's enough food present to support the population. Man needs to leave things alone and stop messing with nature's balance. Uh, I just love to see those idiots get chomped, uh, being their macho selves. You know, let their finger rots. Do, do some uh, big atrox. Every single one of them to get bit, I cheer the snakes on. At any rate, this is a beautiful Texas uh, variety of molasses. They can uh, uh, be subdued, or I've seen some absolutely brilliant silver uh, platinum snakes. Uh, again, oh! As Bob said, this wasn't a friendly beast, uh, and he certainly showed that. We have our first uh, rattlesnake stripe cam footage. Woohoo! And that tongue flick, uh, the one that's out and up and down, is a typical warning uh, tongue flick that you see many species do. Um, I've seen puff adders do it. Uh, certainly mambas do it, and also rattlesnakes do that slow, long tongue flick. That lets you know that, hey bud, I'm in DEFCON 2, you come any closer, and I'm going to go to 1, and I'm going to chew on you. But again, a beautiful Texas molasses. What a beauty. Now everybody knows about uh, the good old rattle here, huh? It's a bunch of bony segments that accumulate after each shed and is used as a warning device. However, there's a lot of uh, theory involved. Back before man was really prevalent on this particular continent, uh, well, before man, the virus, spread and uh, started to destroy the continent, uh, rattlesnakes developed this to warn large mammals like buffalo, bison, uh, deer, etc., etc., saying, hey, I may be a little guy, but I pack a big punch. You stay away from me, because I'm going to make some noise and let you know I'm here. Well, unfortunately, with man, Letting them know that uh, you're, you're present isn't a good thing because that says, Hey, I'm over here. Get the shovel and chop my head off. And unfortunately, uh, that's, uh, that's a very popular thing to do. Uh, subsequently, um, natural selection is taking place where uh, the rattlesnakes that don't rattle as much go on to pass their genes on and therefore start swinging evolution the other way and snakes are going to be favored with evolution that don't rattle and there's talk about the them actually de-evolving their rattle structure sort of like the uh, Catalina Island rattlesnake uh, uh, that's off the coast of Mexico. Well that's a little bit about the rattle and uh, there's certainly a lot of uh, rattlesnake lore we could get into. But let's uh, move on and uh, see the next species that Bob's got for us here. 
this little guy was just a little weenie when I saw him and uh, uh, Bob has uh, put some serious weight on him. Uh, this is one of the coolest rattlesnakes that I used to find in the Tucson area, but you really have to know where to look. Um, these, this is a tiger rattlesnake, Curtilus tigris. Uh, it's actually considered to be more of a desert species, but uh, in Tucson, they've made their homes in the drier areas of golf courses, believe it or not. Um, there's this one private uh, uh, golf course where uh, they've radio tagged uh, uh, these tiger rattlesnakes and they found some of the favorite spots is the island right next to uh, where they tee off. Um, the golfers don't even know that they're there but the person that developed this site really has to be applauded uh, because uh, the instructions are to his uh, groundspeople is not to hurt any of the native wildlife, just uh, to move it safely uh, somewhere else. And he actually allowed a study by the University of Arizona and some of my friends. Um, actually, one night I got to go out in the golf cart on the golf course on the roads, and uh, we caught like four or five tiger rattlesnakes that night, and. Uh, my friend Skip nearly killed me by uh, taking me up this uh, uh, little mountainside uh, in about a hundred degree heat and you know I wasn't quite acclimated to the heat then but uh, we tracked a female tiger that was uh, radio tagged down a hole and uh, oh, we caught Gila monsters and uh, it's just an incredible uh, uh, natural resource now the, the study is over, but you know what they found? Uh, as bad as the upheaval is when they develop a, um, a resort complex or a golf course or something, uh, the animals that survive and come in and repopulate uh, actually do so much better than they did in the uh, open desert because on the golf course there's water, water brings all sorts of prey items, there's, you know, you, you can't imagine how many lizards and toads and and uh, insects and other uh, uh, mice and, and pack rats uh, inhabit this golf course. The ground almost seemed to move at night as you were moving around because there was always uh, something moving in front of you. But the tiger rattlesnakes were pretty prevalent. Uh, the tigers that, uh, that we saw in Tucson are much greener in color than this. Uh, this one's more suitable to a, to a desert environment, and I think uh, maybe over a few generations they've adapted more of a green coloration because they're on a real o oasis in the desert. At any rate, tiger rattlesnakes have a little bit smaller head than a lot of their cousins. Um, they look more like a little pygmy uh, rattlesnake head. And uh, Curtilus tigris actually has a large... Uh, neurotoxic component of its venom and would be quite a uh, formidable bite uh, if you were to get tagged and, and they grew to atrox size it would be quite a bad bite but fortunately uh, they're rather small little critters uh, shying away from mankind and in that one instance on that resort uh, uh, living in harmony with uh, the golfers and the uh, property uh, truly one of the better success stories that I've seen in the desert southwest and I really have to uh, uh, to hand it to the developer uh, because uh, uh, he's done a nice job at preserving nature while uh, advancing his own interests. Uh, it was a win-win for everybody I think. Anyway, this is a tiger rattlesnake. Very difficult to come by in collections. Uh, they're not terribly common. Usually uh, you'll only find males out road cruising if you happen to go uh, come across one. Females are pretty rare and they don't uh, acclimate to uh, captivity terribly well and the youngsters uh, are a little bit difficult to, uh, to raise up. Uh, at any rate, uh, beautiful little Curtilus tigress. Tiger rattlesnake.